All right, Spirit, what do we have for Leo collecting? Clear, intuitive messages, please. Clear, intuitive messages, please, for my Leo collecting. We need three cards. Okay, we got, I think that is three cards. All right, so first card we have is magic. Second card we have is oppression. Third card we got is urgency. Okay, so there is something that's happening in the air for you, Leo. And um, I feel like some of you guys could be actually manifesting. And I'm hearing that the more you manifest something, like if you do something constantly, like every single day, the faster that is getting ready to happen for you, Leo. Your manifestations is happening for you. And um and I'm getting this energy where it may require you to take immediate action upon these manifestations, Leo. So let's dive deeper in this situation. Because our manifestations is coming quicker than probably what you thought it was. Especially if you are somebody that you know, know how to manifest and have been, you know, manifesting. So, what do we have? That's too many cards. There's way too many cards. All right, what we got for Leo Collective Spirit? Let's um, clarify magic, oppression, and urgency. I'm just hearing buckle down when I look at oppression. I'm, I'm getting you like you are like I'm getting this forceful energy, Leo. Like this dominating energy. Like you're getting really serious, Leo, about whatever it is that you want. And it's happening real fast. Wow, we got the two of cups. So some of y'all could be love. Some of y'all, it can be a love interest that you could be manifesting back into your life, Leo. A new or old. It can be somebody new. It can be somebody old. But your magic is definitely happening, Leo. Things are going to start to come together um, for you, Leo. Whether this is something material-wise that you want or it can just be a person in love. New or old. Most of you guys, it could be somebody that could be old that you could be manifesting back into your life, Leo. But I'm just getting like this buckle down energy like you have gained to be very serious about what it is that you want. And, and because of you staying positive about it, I'm, I'm getting that they're coming together for you, Leo. These things are coming together for you. Um, some of you guys... Some of you guys may not want it the way that you have manifested. Some of you guys did manifest somebody back, but I feel like they didn't change because we got the Queen of Wands right here reversed. Yep. Some of y'all manifested somebody back, but they still the same. They still H O E in the round, Leo. They they haven't changed. I'm just getting that energy like you may not be attracted to this person when they come back anymore. Maybe they could be trying to force something, Leo, with you, especially if this is love. But the magician want to come out again. Yep, your mind, somebody mind is made up. It's like if you manifested somebody back in your life, Leo, I feel like you may not want them anymore. Some of you guys may not, like by the time they actually come, you're not going to be attracted to them anymore. Maybe they fell off. I'm getting that energy. Maybe by, when they come back, they may look different. Maybe they fell off. Maybe they either gain weight, lost weight, or they may have, maybe they just don't look the same anymore. They look, I'm hearing some of y'all have manifested somebody from the past, and when they come back, they look toe up, like, for real. And right there, it's like, it's going to ca cause you to take the blindfold off and realize that with the Queen of Wands reversed, that you don't want it no more. You don't want them, or you don't want whatever it is that you have manifested anymore, Leo. Because some of y'all manifested somebody or something, but you felt like it didn't come in the form that you wanted. 
You see what I'm saying? Yup, we got the nine of cups at the bottom. Reverse. It, it caused you to be unhappy. It caused you to be unhappy, Leo, because this is not what... Didn't I just say that the star reversed? Whatever you wished for, it didn't come exactly how you wanted it. So it's reversed. That means you did not want this. You did not want it. Okay. So some of y'all are telling me that y'all have definitely manifested somebody back in your life, by, but you... The way you manifest it is not exactly how you expected them to come back. You know, but I'm getting this energy where somebody could be taking immediate action by clearly like taking a blindfold off and realize, uh-uh, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I manifested, Leo. So now I'm also getting this energy, Leo. Y'all, some of y'all could have manifested somebody new, but maybe you're not you're not attracted to that new person. If you manifested some, a new love interest, you're not attracted to that person physically. Maybe you feel like this new person is not your type. Some of you guys, that is the case. It's the old person you may not be attracted to anymore, or it could be a new person that actually does bring you peace, but you just feel like you're not physically attracted to this person some of you guys it could be their like i said it could be their physical appearance maybe they're not your usual type the rest of you guys it could just be their career maybe you feel like this person could maybe you feel like this person lack um ambition maybe you just feel like this is somebody that is lazy i'm just getting this energy where they're either your not your physical type or they're they just they don't have the drive they don't have the motivation to have better in their life you basically somebody of um you don't look at of quality you know what i'm saying somebody that's not of quality to you leo like i said y'all just take what resonate whether this is an old person or whether it's a new person i'm, I'm getting that energy like it's not what y'all wanted it, it really ain't some of you guys is somebody that you have been talking to or maybe you guys just start talking to each other but um i'm gonna have to clarify <laughs> Maybe somebody trying to explain themselves after you have, you know, pushed them away, Leo. So some of y'all, or like quickly, y'all may have pushed this person away and made a decision. And maybe they still want to talk to you. Some of you guys, this person still trying to reach out to you, Leo. Whether this is, like I said, an old person you manifested back or whether this is a new person that you pushed away. Yep, they still holding on to you. Some of you guys got somebody that could be talking about moving in with you. Because we got talking and then we have palm trees. So whether this is an old or a new person, y'all take what resonates again. Somebody is talking about moving in with you, Leo. And this could be a separate message. It could just be somebody else in your family. Maybe somebody could be somebody in your family could be wanting to move in with you, Leo. Some of y'all, it, it is. Somebody could be talking about building something. Whoever this is, this person could be an addict. Some of you guys, maybe there's an addict, like a, like a family member of yours that could be. That maybe they have addictions and they could be coming towards you and, and asking to move in with you, Leo, for some of my Leos. Y'all take what resonates. Yep. Some of you guys, this is somebody that has some form of addiction, like an attachment or something. Not everybody. Y'all still manifesting. Manifestation. Manifest. I can't even say the word. Manifesting. Spiritual work. Look. Y'all could be doing spiritual practices. Yeah, there is somebody around you that could be talking about having a better life with you. Somebody wants to grow with you, Leo. Whether this is, like I said, old or new person. And this could be a totally different message, okay? It could be somebody else. Maybe it's one person and, you know, there's another person. You know what I'm saying? It could be a new and old. Y'all just take how it goes. But somebody could be talking to you about bringing something about in your life, like bringing something there in your life, Leo. And it has to do with stability or y'all being in a relationship, whether this is an old or a new person. Some of you guys, this person, um, 
Maybe you feel like this person has some work to do, spiritual work to do within themselves. Some of you guys feel like this person needs to heal, whoever this is, or you just feel like this person needs to make change. Like I said, whether this is a family member that could be wanting to move in with you, maybe you could be telling them, like, listen, you got to make some change. It's time for you to go get a job. It's time for you to go get clean. Maybe you could be telling them that they need to go seek help. Like I said, no matter who it is, right, you could be telling this person that, you know, but this is somebody I want to hold on to you, Leo, um, but... I just feel like this person needs to heal. This person needs to, to make some changes, do some, some spiritual work within themselves. Maybe you could be telling this person they're going to have to go, go move in with somebody else or they're going to have to, you know, go be with somebody else. If that's if it's a romantic love interest. But if it's somebody in the family, you could be telling them, listen, I can't take you in like that. Or you could be telling them there ain't no room. You could be telling them you about to move. I don't know. I'm just getting so many different energies. But some of y'all do have like an addict, um friend or a family member that could be wanting to move in with you or it could be an ex of yours that could have a lot of addictions we have and maybe you could be telling them they need to go seek a, like a therapist or something or counseling or i don't know psychologist i don't know who oh some of you guys person could be trying to argue with you because you could be telling them like you can't you can't help them some of y'all somebody could be trying to argue with you trying to stir up some drama Wow. Like I said, table breaks and it could be friends, family, foe. I don't know. Some of y'all. Okay. What else? Cupid's arrow. Somebody about to pop up, Leo. I'm telling y'all, a lot of you guys are manifesting a lot. But maybe you just feel like some of the stuff that you are manifesting is not exactly what it is that you want, Leo. You see what I'm saying? Even though it is not what, you know, it's not what you want at first, it's not stopping you from getting what you want. It's not stopping you from getting what you want. Because some of y'all have people that could be trying to put, like place blockages in your life in the mix of you manifesting new in your life you see what i'm saying you got people from the past trying to come back you know you got people and, and it, like i said these people ain't even on your level for one they probably fell off but two you got family friends coming back trying to come back in your life trying to live with you and stuff um and i'm just getting this energy undervalued like i'm hearing that these people are like they all could be going through some things like they some of them could be homeless some of them could be addicts some of them could be you know i don't know it's everybody got these different problems leo but it seems like you in a mix of you manifesting things people is trying to dump their problems all over all onto you you see what i'm saying like they trying to make you responsible for the stuff that they going through when you already got your own stuff going on but i feel like you got whatever you got going on it's in a good way you see what i'm saying i just feel like spirit is like um Placing these blockages like purposely, I'm getting tests. It's not a blockage. It's more of a test to you to see if you're ready to go to the next phase, Leo. But just know, like I said, it's not stopping you from manifesting exactly what it is that you want, you know, because spirit has a surprise for y'all. And it could have something to do with somebody that is more, you know, on the same level as you spiritually, Leo, that have done the inner work. You see what I'm saying? So this is exactly what I'm getting. Like literally, y'all manifesting and people is trying to like jump into your life out of nowhere to dump their baggage on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you got your own responsibility. You know, you telling people you can't do it. You're going to have to go live with somebody else. You're going to have to seek help. You're going to see therapists. I don't know. But we got not enough right here. I might have to clarify. Yes. Some of y'all are manifesting a new love. Some of y'all are manifesting well, whatever didn't happen, didn't go right the first time. Like I said, it's not stopping you from continuing to manifest what it is that you want, Leo. Some of y'all probably just have to, like I said, you have to clear some things out of your life. These are just tests that's trying to hop into the mix of your manifestations. You see what I'm saying? These are, they're trying to purposely put blockages in your life. That's exactly what I'm saying. But you you know you've done the spiritual work yourself leo you have done the spiritual work leo and it's like people is trying that that know they're not enough for you make it so bad that is like purposely trying to 
come into your life. I just get this jump energy, like, and that could be the reason why we got urgency right here. Like, it's like people are trying to rush, they, they rush themselves into your life, Leo. Like, literally rush themselves into your life in the mix of you manifesting new things for yourself. But like I said, your mind is made up, Leo. Your mind is made up, period. No matter what they say, you standing on what it is that you say. You're not changing your mind about what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want. You see? Because y'all manifesting new love. Especially if you want a, a real love, it's coming. Love is coming. Spirit is saying, listen, love is coming, Leo. And it's going to be somebody that is very spiritual, just like you. Especially if you are somebody that is spiritual that I'm talking about. Like, literally, it's going to be somebody that is spiritual, Leo. But I don't know why to stand right here. I'm going to have to clarify. I keep saying that and not clarify. <laughs> Let me clarify this card because I hope this ain't you. Some of y'all, by the time y'all get a good person that is what you want, you may feel that way. Maybe you may may get scared, Leo. Some of you guys may, may get scared about taking this person because maybe you cannot believe you have manifested somebody on your level. And when I say on your level, I'm talking about it could be every aspect, whether this is mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, you know, um, psychologically, I don't know, right? But somebody going to freeze up and feel like they're not enough. And it's because somebody is conflicted within themselves. You know, don't get, don't, don't second guess yourself about what it is that you deserve. Please don't do that. Because you do deserve loyalty. You do deserve somebody that is solid, Leo. This is somebody that's very loyal. You conflict. By the time y'all actually meet the one, Leo, which I am seeing y'all will, y'all may be hesitant to take it. Y'all may be in your mind about whether this is the one or not. Or, or you could just be conflicted about, you know, about your own worth. You see what I'm saying? But no, Spirit is saying that this is somebody that is solid. This is somebody that's here that is loyal to you, that will be loyal to you. Be true to yourself because you know exactly what it is you want, right? You know, I, I feel like this is you going to be conflicted within your own self about your own worth, Leo. Don't do that. Don't do it. I, and you know why? Ten of Swords right here at the bottom. It's because you've been betrayed before plenty of times by people, Leo. You have been backstabbed before. And that could be the reason why you may question your own worth when this person do come in. You know, because you have been betrayed so many times. You, you know, you've done so much spiritual work and, and you just don't want the drama. You don't want any, any blockages, Leo, in your life anymore. And, and I don't blame y'all for, like being on top of this because like i said it's a good thing and a bad thing you know what i'm saying so it's saying that you are spiritually aware so that is a good thing so like i said don't quite don't second guess your worth do not question um your, whether you deserve this person or whether they're the right person just go with the flow don't try to force things it's saying this is somebody that is very spiritual somebody that you know Maybe they could be a little bit up there more than you, Leo. Some of you guys, they could be a lot more spiritual than you, you know. But that don't mean that they aren't the, they're not the one. It's just you conflicted within your own self because you're looking for loyalty. You never had somebody that was really loyal to you because you have been stabbed in the back so many times, you know. But um, I just feel like some of y'all could be letting having a hard time letting go of some things that you have already let go of when that is you know mentally it's time to drop it spirit is saying it's time to drop the past because you could be placing these blockages in your own life leo this is you you being conflicted you could be delaying your your progress of of love especially when it comes to manifesting a new love y'all manifest a new love but y'all need to stop second guessing yourself because what you're doing is putting these blockages you know, whatever is meant to be, it will be. Whatever that is not meant to be, it will crumble. That's exactly what I'm hearing. But this is all about um, this is all about divine timing. And you know, you need to stop second guessing yourself, Leo, about what it is that you deserve and, and what questioning whether you are ready. Because some of y'all just question whether y'all are even ready. Y'all know y'all have done the spiritual work. Y'all know y'all are aware. You know what I'm saying? Y'all woke. But some of y'all do question whether you are fully, like, ready, you know, even though you are manifesting. But then I say it's because somebody stabbed you in the back. It's saying that. 
This is the clarifying card. Yeah, it's because y'all question y'all worth because you're looking for loyalty. You have been stabbed in the back. Some of y'all are not ready. I'm going to be real with y'all. Some of y'all are not ready like you thought you was. And that could be another reason why things could be pushed aside, like delayed a little bit. With what Spirit is testing you to see if you are ready. You see what I'm saying? Y'all not ready for real like y'all thought y'all was. Y'all not ready. Y'all definitely not ready. Your mind is made up about what you want. But I feel like you know what you deserve. It's just that some of y'all really don't fully know whether you are ready, ready. Like like I said, some of y'all feel do second guess yourself in, in regards of, you know, whether you deserve somebody, you know, loyal. The rest of you guys, y'all have just been hurt, and that could just be why you could be conflicted. So mentally, you may not be ready, you know, to get into a solid connection right now Leo because some of y'all do have drama some of y'all still got people from the past like I said that's still holding on to you that's trying to stir up some drama so physically you need to get rid of people and mentally you need to get rid of those negative thoughts Leo that's exactly what I'm seeing that's holding you back physical people and mentally you need to let go spirit is saying that you need to let go of some things Leo you need to let them go and that's why we had death reversed in that deck that I just showed because whatever that has ended a long time ago, somebody's still holding on to it. Some of y'all are holding on. The rest of you guys, they holding on to you. But something got to give, Spirit is saying. If you want your person, you need to do the work. Some of y'all need to finish doing the work. Like I said, you too conflicted. You too conflicted. And then you got people from the past still holding on to you, you know, holding you back. You know, and then it's like, it's kind of traumatizing a little bit. You traumatizing, like, they traumatizing you. You need to let, let them go. But some of y'all still in heartache. Some of y'all ain't ready. I'm just being honest. If you are manifesting new, spirit saying you ain't ready. That's why they still throwing throwing um people from the past back into your life. No matter who it is, friends, family members, what you know, it's toxic people, right? It's to test you to see if you really stand on what you say, if you about that life, about getting rid of people. And most of y'all are not ready to get rid of these people. And I'm just speaking facts because I don't want somebody to manifest somebody and then they end up messing it up for themselves. You know what I'm saying? It could be a good person. You don't want to mess up your, your, your blessing. You know what I'm saying? So this is all love. But you're being protected right now, if anything. You really is. So if you know that you're not ready to get a new love right now, it's okay. Like fall back for a little bit and get rid of people and do the inner work. That's it. Cause some of y'all are ready, some of y'all are not ready. But at the same time, even if you are emotionally ready, mentally you're not. You see what I'm saying? So it's either both or one or the other that's lacking. You know what I'm saying? In in order to have a, a, a good connection. I'm telling you, spirit will give you exactly what you want, but you need to end the people that stabbed you in your back. Y'all holding on to people that have already betrayed you. Y'all holding on to people that has already betrayed you, Leo. No matter who it is, friends, exes, you know, lovers, yeah, lovers from the past, exes, relatives, you need to get rid of those people, you know, so spirit can give you the person that actually does love you and that actually does support you, Leo. Because some of y'all got, some of y'all got some money coming in too. Some of y'all got a lot... Some of y'all, people probably know you got a lot of money coming in. And that's another reason why they're holding on to you. They're trying to use you. You need to let, get rid of these people. Because some of y'all got people holding on to you for your money. Um, Like I said, some of y'all got addicts holding on to you for money. Be careful because they're probably plotting to steal from you, I'm hearing. Y'all be careful. Some of y'all could be your own sister that, that could be holding on to you for money that you don't really get along with. But somebody know you got some money coming in and they could be wanting to all of a sudden be nice to you. Some of you guys are somebody that you are currently still married to. I'm getting that for some of my Leos. But, but you still, the spirit is saying that you need to let this person go. There could be somebody that's married to one person and in a relationship with another person. And they only with the person for support. Somebody is being used for their money. Didn't I say that for support to, to be taken care of no matter whether they run a bath water, make them something to eat, fold a laundry. You know, it's like somebody on the outside is being used while they're married to a whole another person on the, on the other side. It's very saying it's time to wake up. This is a test. Because they got somebody for you, but you you delaying your blessing. 
It's time to make change. It's been saying that the whole entire spread. It's time to make change. Some of y'all go ahead. The order for you to make change, Leo, and get rid of all these people that have already stabbed you in the back that you're still holding on to, you're going to have to move house. Some of y'all is going to take y'all to pack y'all stuff and actually just leave in order for your life to go how you want it to. That's exactly what I just heard. Some of y'all need to get a divorce. Some of you guys probably already have a pending divorce. Maybe you on the um, brink of, um, of getting a divorce with somebody. Some of you guys. Yep, still holding on to, to you too tied to everything. Too, it's too much that's holding on to you, Leo. Some of y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all got ties everywhere. It ain't even just with love. It, it's relatives, too, that you should have been let go of a long time ago. It's old friends, family members. It's too many people holding on to you. It's time to ride out. Spirit keeps telling you, like, listen, it's time to walk away and start a new life, start a new journey. Because these people holding on to you for the wrong reasons. Because y'all can manifest y'all tail off, but y'all manifesting backwards. Y'all need, need to let these people go so y'all can get what you want so Spirit can make room for the new. Because if you ain't, listen, if you're not doing that... You're going to be manifesting backwards and you're not going to get what you want. Yeah, it may hurt to walk away, but it's time. It's time to walk away, Leo. We got despair. Some of y'all, maybe y'all are worried about being left alone. Some of you guys don't want to be alone and that's why y'all settling for anything. Y'all better stop doing that. Some of you guys, y'all afraid of being alone. Some of you guys could have abandonment issues, but it's okay because Spirit has something brighter for you, Leo. If you take that leap... I'm telling you, spirit has something good happening for you. It's time to walk away from these people that's holding on to you for nothing. They just want to use and abuse you. And stop being nice to these people. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve your, your presence. If they stab you in the back before, what makes you think that they ain't going to stab you in the back again? Yes, it may hurt to walk away from people. Somebody could be conflicted. Some of y'all could just be stuck. Maybe you just feel stuck. You ain't stuck. Look, then I just say these people plotting against you. You better get away from these people that's after your money. If they these people know you got money coming in, I don't care what it is—a settlement, some child support. I don't. Know. It could be. It could be some alimony. I don't know. It can be income tax check. I don't know. Right? These people trying to huddle around you to take from you. They plotting to steal from you. Didn't I already say that? Some of y'all got addicts that holding on to you that's plotting to take your money. Y'all better be careful. We got toll and labor. Yeah, they working hard. I'm hearing the devil working overtime. So y'all gonna have to um do something about this. Didn't I say y'all got some money? And some of y'all work real, real hard to gain this money. Some of you guys, could maybe it could be a retirement check. I don't know. But some of y'all have worked y'all tail off to get this money. Maybe you have been going to court, back and forth to court. Some of you guys, maybe you, it could be, um, I'm hearing, maybe it could be SSI, SSA benefits. I don't know, but I'm hearing um, a settlement or a um, retirement check or something. Or maybe some of y'all probably didn't hit the lottery. I don't know, right? But y'all be careful because people is plotting on you. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, Leo. I hope it resonates and y'all take care.